Assalamu alaikum and welcome all. I hope that you will be happy and enjoying a healthy life. Viewers, I hope that like me, you have also planted seasonal vegetables and flowers by now. So today I want to talk about a common issue which we uh, face after planting especially the vegetables and that is pests and insects in the garden. Actually change of weather is the peak season of pest attack and uh, during extreme weathers like in summers or in winters they don't bother much. But now if we will not control them they will become a headache for us. So I am going to share a few easy tips uh, uh, which I am using to control the pests in my garden. First and the foremost important step to avoid pest is to examine your plants regularly and thoroughly. And this practice enables us to get rid of the problem before it actually spreads. By examining the plants, either we can easily find the insect itself such as uh, caterpillars, aphids, scale insects and these can be hand-picked even. Uh, or in other case, some signs indicate its presence uh, but we cannot see it with the naked eye. For example, these zigzag pattern tells us the problem of leaf miner. So let me show you with the examples and meanwhile I will talk about their solutions also. Let's see this Mogra plant for example. Apparently it looks uh, fine but its leaves start losing their fresh green color. So when I turn them I could see scale insects stuck underneath the leaf. They actually suck the chlorophyll slowly from the leaves and ultimately the plant dries out and dies. So for this type of insects, uh, we can just rub the leaf uh, slowly between our fingers and these insects will die because they are so soft bodied. But don't forget to use gloves if you are uh, doing this by your hand or otherwise let me remove it for demonstration. Uh, I hope uh, you can see it clearly now. So take any old toothbrush and gently rub it on the surface of the leaf. Any visible insects can be removed by this method but just remember that if the problem has just started or you have few plants then you can get control over it by this method otherwise it would be a hassle for you. And uh, this point leads to the second method which is pressure wash for the plants. This means the thorough cleaning uh, of plants using water pressure even under the leaves and uh, it should be done at least once a week during the winter season even. This pressure wash will not only remove all the insects hiding under the leaves or sticking to the stems but will also wash off the dust on the leaves and uh, will open the pores. And uh, this will help the plant to breathe well and gain good health. And you know that healthy plants can resist diseases and pest attack very well. You can shower the smaller or delicate plants using a spray, but I am using a hose pipe because uh, I am used to off it and I can manage the water pressure uh, through my thumb. In fact, I would recommend this pressure wash as a preventive measure instead of using it as a solution for insects. Okay, now let's say that uh, you are giving a proper shower to your plants or hand picking and brushing of the insects regularly, but still the insects are not under control for any other reason or you can't see them even. Uh, I mean, they are not visible with naked eye. As for me, it happened, see this, I have noticed some leaf miner problem on my plants and I think uh, this has come with the seedlings which I recently bought from nursery. So in this case, what to do? Because here we cannot even see the insects with the naked eye and these type of infections don't limit to a specific type of plant uh, and they very easily spread all over the garden. So first of all, we need to remove all the infected leaves and don't add them into your compost. Just dispose them off. 
away from your garden because they carry unhashed eggs of insects mostly of white or black fly now after removing the infected leaves we need to use a pesticide spray and as we don't want to go for a chemical so best and all in one organic remedy for pest control is the neem oil now there are two points to talk about number 1 is how to make neem oil spray and number 2 is what if it's not available or we don't want to spend for it let's first talk about how to make neem oil spray it's actually very easy just take 2 teaspoons of neem oil and half a teaspoon of any hand wash liquid and uh, add it to 2 liters of uh tap water normal tap water mix it well and spray on the plants to increase its uh, effectiveness uh, we should use it in the evening and uh, spray it under the leaves properly now i will talk about what if it's not available or if uh, it's out of our budget in that case you can just take a bunch of fresh neem leaves from any nearby park i have taken it from my own garden and soak them in some water for about 48 hours you can soak them as it is or you can chop them i would prefer to chop them roughly because the bitterness of neem can be dissolved in water easily now cover and keep it for at least 48 hours after that sieve this water and add few drops of any hand wash liquid in it and uh, then you can fill it in spray bottle and use it just like neem oil spray and here it is optional to use the hand wash we are just using it to compensate the smell of fermented neem trust me this has no side effect it works just like neem oil spray and yes both of them are slow effecting sprays either neem oil or directly fermented neem water so we need to apply them twice a week either of them and here it's very important to remind ourselves that it's not a chemical so it will not give us magical results like in one day uh, we will spray on our plants and next day all the insects will die or will vanish but yes if we will use it regularly it will show it re its results uh, in 2 to 3 weeks as i am using it from last 3 weeks uh, and i am using it twice a week so i'm and i'm using it alternatively sometimes i use uh, neem oil spray and sometimes i use fermented neem water so by using this remedy i could contain this leaf miner problem and scale insects up to 80% in my garden that's all for today i hope that this video was useful for you inshallah see you with the next video till then Take care stay blessed and Allah Hafiz